What's going on everybody? I'm back with another reaction and today we have the new Amity Affliction track, Give Up the Ghost. This one just came out a few days ago and it was released with Like Love as a single. I don't really understand what the point of that was. But Like Love was a pretty good song so I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a tandem with that one. I'm a classic Amity Affliction fan. I've listened to them for years and years now and I've liked almost everything they did. I even liked Misery a lot, if we're being real. It was really experimental and it was different for them and I liked that direction that they went. But then with this past album, was not really a fan. It had like two or three like standout tracks and the rest just did not work at all with me. But Like Love was back to like their old sound. So I'm hoping this one stays with that and I think that's everything. So let's dive into this one. Amity Afflictions new track, Give Up the Ghost. Three, two, one, go. I'm excited. Hey. This is a good chorus. Okay. Pretty cool riff in the background, too. Good though. I, this is this is a lot better than like love. Like love was weird to me. It was good, but it's better. I wasn't sure how they going to go into that one. Right. 
That was Amity Affliction's new track, Give Up the Ghost. That was really good. Like, as I said just a little bit ago, that was definitely better than Like Love for me. Uh, the more I listened to Like Love, it got better. But again, it's nothing crazy. It does remind me of like the 2015-ish Amity Affliction, which is awesome. And I'm super happy that they're back to that sound. That was peak for sure. This one was good. It had a lot of actual screams in it. It wasn't like Joel's clean singing or the stuff he's been doing like the last two albums. He screamed. Um, Aaron's voice, great, super catchy chorus, and that's what Amity Affliction is known for. They're, they've always been known for their great choruses, and that's what draw people in. No different here. I think the artwork is pretty cool. This little video that they have, I mean, it's not really doing anything except like the fire's glowing, but that's a really cool imagery, and I love that style. Now, it looks like these are just like a couple standalone singles. Um, they did something like this last year, I think it was, with um, Don't Wade in the Water and a Midnight Train. I think that's it. I think those are two songs. They did something like that and it didn't end up progressing to an album or anything. So just a couple tracks to keep us ready for something new. Yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you thought about this one, if this one was a banger to you, because it was to me. Also let me know uh, what other stuff you are interested in from this past release Friday. Today is Friday that I will be uploading this. Um, so a bunch of stuff just dropped. I'm not exactly sure what else I'm gonna be reacting to in this upcoming week yet. So we'll figure it out when we get there. If you're interested in being featured on the channel, please let me know. Um, you can send me a music video that you have, a lyric video, interviews. If you want to be interviewed, anything like that, go ahead and send it my way. I'll have my email, my Instagram, my Twitter, all in the description. You can message me on any of those. Or you can just like shoot me an email. If you're interested in staying up to date with my channel or um, music release weeks, um, I'm always active on my Instagram message me there anytime. I'm way more active on there than I will be on Twitter. Twitter, I basically just post that I'm uploading a video, but I guess this past week I released a new music release Friday and it posts a bunch of the bands that have released albums, EPs, or singles from the past week. So if you have trouble staying up to date with that kind of stuff, then that's a good spot for you to go to. But yeah, thank you guys for checking this one out. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like and subscribe and have a good one.